We're going to be using Prome AI to create these architectural concept visualizations. Now, at the moment within the architecture industry, we're really looking for these AI programs that can take simple sketches or simple 3D models and then bring them into a realized concept. However, one of the big challenges we're seeing is that a lot of these companies are competing against each other and it's hard to know which one provides the best result. So today we're going to be checking out Prome AI. We've actually used this a little bit within our architecture firm. In today's video, we're going to be looking at different use cases where we can make actual concept renders just from simple 3D models. So when you open up Prome AI, this is what you see. Now, they have a lot of features you can use. There's sketch rendering, AI generators, do creative fusion. There's all of these um, different tools, but we're going to be looking at specifically the architectural side of this today. And we're going to be using sketch rendering. So let's take a look. We have this, um, I created this within Rhino and I set it to pen view and exported a screenshot. So we're going to see how well Prome AI does at turning this into an actual render using prompts and setting up the parameters. To use drag and drop it, we're going to use um, version 2. They do have this in version 1, but we'll use the latest version 2. Now, you can see on the top left, I've already got it set to architecture design. So we'll choose a style. For now, we'll go with just realistic for now. Scene, we'll go into architecture. And because we have a residential building, we'll just go residence building. You can change the building style. Now, to start this off, we'll just go real simple. We'll go, but they have all these selections you can look through for your specific um, style of building that you want to create. All of these are already set out. They have some interesting ones here, like futuristic. Uh, there's honestly so many options. You could sit there for hours looking through those, but we're going to go with just a simple, sustainable innovation. Then environment. This is good. You can set the time of day and whatnot. Uh, we'll just go, uh, you can also select a multiple here. So we'll go day and autumn mode they have three different modes i find this quite useful in some of the other ai programs you're not able to set the strength of the outline of your input image uh, this makes it very easy to understand what we're doing so we'll just go with outline and now we can also insert a prompt to help it so we'll just go we'll go a contemporary architecture building in a forest private residence you can also do negative prompts of things that we don't want so i guess we don't want it to be low quality we don't want it to be blurry uh, you can also insert reference images, but we'll leave that blank for now. Um, you are also able to change the perspective of the camera. However, we've already put an import image, so this won't be necessary. I find this interesting. You can actually change the scenarios of lighting. But again, as this is a building, uh, we'll leave that blank for now. And we'll try standard generation first and see what we come up with. You can see I've done some previously here, but it gives you three results each time. So. This one looks pretty good, I'd say. I'm just amazed at how well Prome AI actually stays within the parameters and the boundaries of your sketch image. Because we've experimented with pretty much all AI programs uh, in our architecture firm. And as of recording this video, Prome AI does the best job at keeping within the parameters and the boundaries. We can go ahead and download a high resolution photo, or we can also upscale it uh, use further using AI. So we'll go to the HD upscaler. We'll go creative options low because we just want to simply upscale it and see what this looks like. But while that's upscaling, let's take a look at our render in the full quality. So you can see the quality of this image. You can literally set this as your desktop background. Like, And here's our upscaled version. You can see it increases the quality by of this. You can upscale it again and we'll actually try that. So we'll download this one. I would like to upscale this again to 5000. So this is a 4k image essentially it does require a bit of points but if you land that like hero shot and you want to export it to 4k quality so you're able to use it for these a hero render or your main render that you want to show on your project i think it's worth it to upscale it to 4k now here's our 4k ultra upscaled you can see it's really adding a lot of detail to it now so here's our 4K image now. I would say this quality looks pretty amazing. Uh, this coming out of an AI engine and staying within the boundaries and parameters is very good. Now you can see there are a few, you know, artifacts and maybe it's misinterpreted some slight things, but this is to be expected where AI is overall. Uh, some perspective issues here with these beams, but this really comes down to sitting there and just 
putting in lots of prompts in this initial stage. You see this one doesn't have as many perspective issues and looks a bit different. Same with this one, it's given us more uh, what we wanted staying within those parameters. But it really just takes all this experimenting. Uh, I'll show you the previous experimentation I've done with this. You can see here where I was experimenting with jungle and kind of dense tropical environments. But we'll make one more using the same building, then we'll switch up to a different type of uh, style. Let's just try something completely different. Let's go a dusk, rain, fog. In the building style, we'll select something else. We're going to go with the rainy, foggy, go nature modern, whatever this one is. We'll select these two and we'll keep forest, I think, because I really like that look. I'm curious just to see what this will come up with. But you see, keeping a simple prompt so it understands exactly what to make makes it very uh, straightforward. So here we go, it's made our lawn nice and clean. Um, it will take a bit of experimenting to get exactly what you want. This one's added in a lighting feature. It's kind of made its own architecture around here. Obviously you can combat that by changing the mode to precision. She so will try that and I want to really do like a nighttime one. So go to environment, we'll take dusk off. We'll just make it rain and nighttime. I want to try to get rid of the wood and go with more concrete. But elemental and fluid geometry. We want to remove any wooden things and try to keep it concrete. In fact, that way I can go to negative prompts and type in wood so we don't get any wood. And we'll see what this generates because I want to keep that contemporary concrete kind of postmodern kind of look. I like this one a lot, so we'll go ahead and upscale this. I'll go ahead and leave uh, creativity on high. We'll generate an upscaled version. So you can see I've gone ahead and upscaled this one and downloaded it. This was the initial upscaled one. You can see quite a bit of detail looks quite realistic. And the full upscaled is this one in 4K. Now this actually looks pretty damn realistic. It looks like we've got this kind of wood concrete hybrid material. You can see there's like a concrete along the top there. And then I really like how it's interpreted the, this forest with the fog behind it. I think this is a great way to come up with concepts. If you want to show this straight to your clients, um, or if you want to use it as a final render even. Uh, it will take a bit of experimentation with your prompting to get it to what you want it to be. But this looks very realistic. You know, I've got the grass, reflections. Nothing looks too uncanny, which is like a problem you have with AI, where some things don't look quite realistic, but I think this is a really great result. So now we're going to switch this up and go with a organic model. Now, in one of my previous tutorials, we made the London Aquatic Center by Zaha Hadid Architects. We're going to go ahead and import this and see what Prome AI can come up with. Just drag and drop it. You can just clear all of your initially set up prompts and whatnot. She will keep low quality and blurry as a negative prompt. But we'll go style. Um, for architecture's sake, I think you want to keep it either realistic, natural. Honestly, any of these will work. We can experiment with. I mean, this video could be five hours long, just me sitting here going through every option. But I highly recommend that. You'd, you know, it's free to use this program. You can try it for yourself. And if you want to upscale it, you can go ahead and purchase it. But we'll go building and commercial building, even public building. Mode. She would want to keep it in precision concept or now, maybe. And style. We definitely want to try out some of these organic ones. Anything organic we'll use. Organic modernism, organic transparency, all of this. Environment, we'll just go a simple day. All right, let's see what this comes up with. So you can see here, um, when you provide nothing in your background, it can sometimes interpret its own background. So that's why I think it's good to incorporate a prompt. It we'll would just go with a prompt, a modern museum building in a futuristic city. So it at least knows that the setting is within a city. You can even set architectural perspective views. So we'll go with aerial view. We'll see what this comes up with. I'm kind of thinking we want to get a city in the background. That's a bit better. I mean, in terms of the building itself, it's interpreting the organic form pretty well. It's staying within the parameters and it's keeping the shape of an organic form. Maybe we'll keep the perspective off for now commercial building only, maybe public building also. Let's see what happens if we don't provide an actual building style and just leave it blank with simply nothing but a prompt. There you go, that's a bit more what I was thinking. But I think it's best that we keep a building style um, built in. Go Italian futurist. 
Futuristic 7. You can see there's a bit of uh, urbanism happening in Futuristic 7 here. So we'll select the ones, oh, there you go, and Futuristic, where we can kind of see uh, a city in the background. Uh, we'll go Outline, and then we'll go Precision after this. We'll see what these come up with. There we go. So it's doing a bit of creativity here and interpreting some of its own materiality. Um, that's really good for coming up with concepts. You know, I wouldn't have th thought to do this, but you could do like a transparent roof and then go back into your program and actually create that in your model if you want to pursue that. So it's a good way of coming up with concepts as well as the kind of final outputs. We'll go ahead and change this back to precision. We'll try cinematic. We'll go commercial. But we want to try to come up with a kind of final output for this. There you go, that's much better at staying within the parameters apart from this one. Yeah, I don't think the commercial was working too well for that, so we'll switch it back to realistic. I want to try this one again. We'll go at rain and nighttime. But I think in terms of the building itself, the prompts are great. Wow, this one looks sick. I like this one, but I don't like how it's created these buildings behind it. Maybe we'll see if we can kind of adjust this. Also, this one looks great. I mean, I'll upscale this one just because... That's simply just a, a nice render, you know, that's exactly what you want if you want to just visualize your concept. We'll try out the Erase and Replace feature. So we go into our image, go Edit, Erase, and Replace. Wow, you can actually... What the? This is surprising me. <laughs> so what, we can select these. And go Remove. No way. I haven't actually seen this from any AI program before. We are able to select the elements within it. So it's removed it from the image, I see. So it analyzes each element of the image. Wow, okay. I wanna try uh, changing this ground. So we'll go replace. We'll just go clean concrete. Maybe we'll retouch some of the parts of it as well. I did not know that uh, Prome AI had this tool. Now this really changes it. This puts it way ahead of any other AI program. I'm surprised that um, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, and other programs are not at this level yet because, okay, this is crazy. That is actually kept the reflection as well. So if your image is not quite what you want, you can select actual um, elements of the image. See where we've got this? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and retouch this part. We'll remove this little artifact here later, but for now we'll just go retouch. And I like how it still gives three variations even after you're just doing retouching. So you can see it's not perfect, but it's definitely doing something there. Go ahead and edit this one. We'll just keep on using the retouch until we've kind of got it to a point where we want. Uh, this can be a very long process, however. I think it's worth it if you have the patience. All right, it's starting to break a bit there. So we'll go back to our old variations. because I really want to upscale this and see what happens when we do an HD upscale. So good, we got rid of that artifact. I mean, since we can, we might as well try retouching the whole building and seeing if we can Get rid of this white artifact here. And the good thing is, if it doesn't work, you can go back to old variation and just try again. It's very interesting, I like that. So we'll go ahead and upscale this now. I mean, I could sit here, honestly, all day just retouching and upscaling. But we'll go ahead and upscale both of these two images to the final quality. And see if it kind of fixes it. So I'll upscale these two, then we'll have a look at them once they're finished. So we've upscaled these to over 4K. Now these are 5,000 pixel images, and here we go. So obviously because I upscaled this kind of uh, organic form, I'd say uh, these glass parts here look amazing. The roof, we still had a bit of issues, but you could easily flesh that out with a bit more experimentation and just sitting there prompting, uh, retouching, erasing, removing, and replacing. But overall, this image looks pretty amazing, I'd say. A really unique concept that I wouldn't even thought of that AI has come up with. And this one here is a more simple, clean, literally just precise. You can zoom into these and it still keeps the realism. So that's a really great tool there. And I'm so surprised at how many tools this provides because you can erase, paint, manual selection, move. Um, it, the fact that AI can just detect different parts of the image is pretty crazy. It's, it's going to have a huge effect on the industry later on, I think, because if Chrome AI is advancing this fast, I'm really interested to see uh, where it's going to go in the future. So we're going to do one final one. You know, we've done our kind of residential building, 
we've done the organic forms. Now I want to do one like a really a full on residential skyscraper with grass and organic greenery and all this kind of thing. But we're going to make this model completely from scratch because I want to show you how easy it is to simply visualize this. We're going to jump into Rhino real quick and just make a couple of organic forms. Let's just go with this 50 story skyscraper. We'll change the view to pen. Trying to think what perspective we want to do because we want to challenge it a little bit. Renders look the most effective for skyscrapers. So I think, yeah, from the ground two point perspective. Or you can go from this kind of midway point. So I've gone ahead and just exported a couple of pen views from uh, Rhino directly of these skyscrapers. So we want to see what Prime AI can come up with just with these simple skyscraper views. So we'll go ahead back to sketch rendering. We'll drag and drop these. Clear our parameters again, go back to realistic. We're gonna go architecture, we have a skyscraper. So we go skyscraper, building style. I'll show you the scene is super futuristic residential buildings, all covered in grass and greenery. So we wanna try and get that. Would you look at that? We got this here and here. There's lots of futuristic styles we can choose. Futuristic, monolithic. Don't wanna to go too many styles. So already uh, three is pretty good. Environment, just simple daytime. So we want to create a kind of we'll just go Zaha Hadid organic skyscraper. We'll keep it on precision. We'll just do a first pass to see what we come up with. We've got a few options here. I'll go ahead and try um, only one building style. See what happens, maybe we're importing too many styles, it can try to do too much. If we just go with one style simply, there's too many to choose, and we'll go futuristic four and try just this one. I mean, already this looks great. I mean, most of these massive skyscrapers don't have too much variation in the envelope anyway, so this is really good to just come up with these concept visualizations. It completely uh, fast tracks that whole going to a rendering firm, getting them to render out concept renders. Uh, it just does take a bit of experimenting. Maybe I'll try getting rid of my prompts and seeing what it comes up with. We'll just try this um, more close-up view. And maybe I'll try outline as well for a less precise concept. We'll try one more with this really biophilic. And go for more cinematic, volumetric fog. Kind of similar to just these where you get a real sense of the drawer and render distance. Yeah, this one looks really architectural. Go ahead and upscale this one. So that's really nice for an architectural concept there. We'll just upscale both of these, do a little bit of editing, and then see our final results. So here's our upscaled version. I'll upscale it again to 4K. So here's our final result. So here we've got the residential building. Now two scenarios, we've got a nice autumn forest with our natural sustainable kind of wood materials. You can see it's got nice modern furniture. Then our other one, our moody, cinematic, concrete, cold, forest uh, kind of cinematic view. I think both very successful in terms of the residential architecture. Then we've got our two final uh, commercial skyscraper with organic forms. This one could do with a little bit more work, but still looks very cinematic. This one up closer, I really like how this interpreted the interior of this. Then we have our organic forms. One very clean, simple, and really effective view has come up with. And then our more intricate, interesting kind of concept where we've got uh, some really unique materials going. So overall, I'd say at the moment in 2024, that Prome AI is probably one of the best sketch to rendering programs that is out at the moment. So I would highly recommend you can go on the website and check it out for free. I've got a link in the description there for you to check out Prome AI if you want to have a look at it. Highly recommend it for any architects or designers wanting to come up with these kind of sketch to rendering concepts. So thank you for watching.